No dark sarcasm <laughs> in the classroom. Perfect, Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's so creepy. Teacher, leave <laughs> them kids alone. Oh. <laughs> Teacher, leave them kids alone. <laughs> Welcome. This is a Dungeons and Dragons stream and podcast and all the things. Welcome and to... karaoke. And karaoke. Very good point. Especially. Venture Ventures. Uh, we're a bunch of comedians collaborate and 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 uh, you know tell stories and tell jokes. I am the DM Jake Friday. Why don't we go around real quick? Plug what you want to plug, players, and uh, tell us the name of your character and maybe your real life name. I don't know. Let's start with uh, uh, Catherine. Why, hello. I am Catherine Elise. You can find me online at Catherine, not IRL. That is Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, not in real life. I play Aradia Nightsong, who is a drow monk that enjoys hugging. And what do I want to promote? I want to promote um, vigorous discussions about the new Sabrina because <gasps> I am watching it and I still can't decide how I feel about it. In some ways, I really enjoy it. In some ways, I feel like it's deeply anti-woman. And so <gasps> I just really would like to talk about that. <laughs> what? We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Okay, good. We'll talk. Oh, and also I want to promote the fact that it's Jake's birthday coming up. Or was it your birthday already, Jake? When's your birthday? Manana. Manana. That's what I thought. That's so, Elvish birthday, for Jake. tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful, elegant. We love you. Thanks. Wait tomorrow you. somewhere. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Actually, in Singapore. It's in yeah. Singapore right now. It's tomorrow. Enjoy oh. my birthday, Singapore. Uh, Let us know how it went. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dog. Uh, let's go to Squeaky Toy himself, Richard. <laughs> As bad. he runs away. <laughs> I, have, I have impeccable timing. <laughs> I am Richard Cardenas. I am a podcast pod pod host, and um, <laughs> that's a podcast. It's actually Orin for podcast oh. host. <laughs> I have two podcasts: uh, Interview with a Nerd and uh, uh, Awkward Human Survival Guide. And I'm actually excited about the most recent interview with a nerd I did because I asked someone to be on, and we talked all about digimon uh so that was a lot of fun so go check that out um i play nihilus nightmareth he is a triton sorcerer um uh and yeah he he he's trying to be a better person i don't think that's gonna work out for him but um he's trying at the moment it might just attitude. be manipulation i don't know mm -hmm. that's cool. it uh let's go to justin Hey, I'm Justin Matson. Uh, yeah, I play a furball witch, uh, Sarah Sierra. She's super fun and always uh, pretty awkward at human interaction. Uh, although I think we all are probably. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's a, a eight foot tall furball, blue skin, green hair. Um, she has a, a familiar named Pucker, and she. Uh, she loves selling her home beauty brews uh, for money and weird haggling. Uh, yeah. And you can find me on my uh, on Twitter at Justin Matson uh, for all my comedy gold. <laughs> Perfect. Dave, our singer in chief. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dave Roderick. Um, I play a character called Prodding Rod, Proddy for short. He's a Kenku warlock. And he'll be touring the UK mostly, singing <laughs> uh, this summer. Um, nothing, nothing to plug. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's get this cool. Let's get this bleeping <laughs> hag. Uh, yeah. So last week we left off. We were gonna skip to. We we're kind of. I tried to skip ahead, but then we kind of went back and uh, did some recon on the hags that are being investigated, the hags or hags, or hag or hags. Um, and uh, we were gonna start with uh, the nightmares <laughs> of, the nightmares of, who was it? Let's see, we had- Justin and Nihilus, I think. Yeah, okay, so I asked you, told you guys you're gonna 
describe the nightmares you're going to have during the week um, and what would be the nightmare for Nihilus uh, that he would experience from this night hag, uh, Richard. Go now? Okay. Um, uh, so Nihilus finds himself uh, back near his home of Blue Grotto, and he is kind of like in a very deep sea area, and it's very dark. There aren't very many lights. Uh, going on so he tries to cast himself some spell uh, probably dancing lights to get to see and all of a sudden he starts seeing tentacles coming out from the darkness uh, chasing after him and he can't seem to get any other spells going he's so terrified and he's just running away from the tentacles until they grab his leg and that's when he wakes up the old hentai nightmare Mm mm-hmm and uh perfect (laughs) justin what would sarah have dreamed um she is uh at at home in her old furball community before she was excommunicated for various reasons i won't get into right now backstory and uh yeah (laughs) and she's uh and uh it's uh her parents are out and she's getting ready to go to a big dance and she's uh putting a face powder on her face uh but then she starts sneezing and she's like what this isn't face powder it's acid and then, she's like, ah. and then her face starts to melt off and then she's like ah, i gotta put it back together and she's trying to put her face back in but it keeps falling out and uh and then uh and then and then she runs to the dance and jimmy dance shoes won't dance with her because her face is gone and uh and then she wakes up oh man that was a, that was a... I like how the first reaction was sneezing <laughs> from acid. <laughs> Not like cowering your in body, pain. Your body has a lot of self-defense, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> but I could totally see, like, I could, I could envision that that would be the first reaction, <laughs> like before it starts directly burning. It just kind of yeah. tickles yeah. your nose or something. Like, oh, Great. Yeah. So. Everyone has one level of exhaustion because you can't seem to get any sleep. Um, Hold on, wait. You don't want to hear Aradia and uh, Prodi's Oh, nightmare? if you want to add a, another, sure. No, last time these two had their nightmares and we didn't have – we're the ones that have that's, to see what our nightmares are. Yes, that's – I remember now. That was – Yes. No, I, I already said what my oh, nightmare Oh, you is. had a nightmare? You had yeah. a nightmare already? Oh, okay. Okay. Just kidding. Then Aradia or... hasn't gotten to say it and I thought about it and I'm like, fine. <laughs> okay. Please do. No, please do. <laughs> okay. So Aradia is in a, um, like, drow party um, it, it, in a big – group of people who all just want to talk to her about the weather um and so she's getting a lot of anxiety about it and she um she's like oh excuse me i'm so sorry i have to go um, and so she's like trying to move everyone but everybody wants to talk to her and it's, it's making her feel really um uh she doesn't love it and so then she like sneaks off into this little hallway um and then she happens upon this library she's so excited and so she she goes in and there are books it's filled with books and it's very exciting to her and so she goes and she takes out the first book and um and she opens it and it's in a language she doesn't understand no big deal that's fine she goes ahead and puts that book back um then she finds her favorite book which is uh uh Kierkegaard's uh oh, I never say it right it's fine uh uh Kierkegaard's Night Songs tales of misadventures and and she can't believe that they actually have a copy uh this was her favorite book that had been taken away from her during the eraser and um and and she uh opens it and she starts reading it and it's nothing like what she remembers and it's not it's not the the plucky heroine that she fell in love with dwarfish heroine that she fell in love with it's it, it doesn't remind her of anything of these things that like brought her peace and comfort and so finally she realizes that this thing that she's been seeking and longing after just all of a sudden isn't really ever coming back to her Ooh. <laughs> 
This That's night really hag cool. is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> really great stuff, guys. If you want to know Jake's the DM's nightmare? It would probably yes. be uh, yeah. at this point having to be the human representative to talk to Poppy, the singer. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! While she's uh, covered in blood from one of her recent music videos. <laughs> and and the nightmare portion, that's not the nightmare portion. The nightmare portion is that I would bore her and she would leave the planet. So <laughs> um, You're just afraid of her being gone from existence? Is that really what you're Yeah, the is? yeah, the robot just leaves and uh you know And you caused it, Jake. And Friday. it's my fault. Um <laughs> Perfect. So uh you guys are in Innis. One of the two cities of Anista, and it's winter. It is uh, the end of Rhyme, the month of Rhyme, and it's a pretty Mediterranean place. So the low is probably like the lowest it goes at night is probably in the high 40s, and then the highs are around in the 60s. And uh, it's pretty cloudy and overcast, a lot like San Francisco. I I would. Uh, I would relate it to San Francisco weather-wise. And um, you guys are waking up um, on the first day of the Festival of the Moon, which Aradia knows is um, the god or the uh, f festival that honors Celestian. Um, if any of the rest of you would like to know that, you can roll a history intelligence check or if you don't care you don't have to uh, i'm gonna roll because i'm just i just look around and i see everyone like doing weird stuff and i'm trying to figure out what it is so uh i roll a uh, nine <laughs> and i add my i'm not proficient in it so i guess i add plus three so a 12 or yeah, yeah you're 12. you've heard of the festival and but uh you're when you go, you guys go downstairs and you have breakfast, talk to the owner of the Good Night Moon, Good Night Spoon Tavern Inn that you're staying in. Um, there's not a lot of decorations. And uh, Aradia, you would know that uh, some of the major celebrations, the major celebration, the one major celebration that is well known is uh takes place at the dwarven city of grimheart where the oracles grim provide a festival um for the people of that city and that that's a major celebration also veer mall has major celebrations for religious festivals uh but from what you see outside there's not a lot going on um in terms of for a festival like this uh there's a few um, right outside the inn, there's a man who is trying to, handing out tickets to a lecture he's going to give on, uh, he, he, on the stars and stuff. He's a professor of the Wandering College of Anista. Um, but that's about it in terms of the festival. Uh, what else? Yeah. So, um... What would you guys like to do? You were, you know, trying to figure out a way to, uh, to, uh, vanquish this hag. Yeah. <laughs> or, or not vanquish her and just get, get I think we should ask to see her pantry again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, you guys are currently downstairs, we'll say, in the inn in the morning. Um, I want to talk to the the innkeeper. Sure, she um, is just getting ready for the day. She brought you guys breakfast, and um, she's behind the bar, just uh, cleaning up a little bit from the previous night. Uh, you can call her over. Thank you so much. I love turkey bacon. It's it's almost as good as regular bacon, but makes me feel good about myself. So thank you. Oh, thank you for ordering it. You know that. Not a lot of people order it, and uh, 
It was getting bad. It was going to go bad soon. So <laughs> I just... can smell, but you know, I like it just a tad bit rancid, just a little bit. Yeah, it know? gives it, it gives it a interesting flavor. Exactly. Um. <laughs> so, how long have you lived in? in uh, how long have you been in charge of this inn? Uh, I took over from my dad uh, after he died. I I've grew up here essentially. So, oh, um, R.I.P. your father. So sorry about that. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, curious. How, how well do you know the um the orphanages? Not really that well. I know that um they've been here for a while, and they do a lot of good work down there, mm. and uh, they bring a lot of kids in from, especially uh. Anytime there's conflict around the continent, they uh, they shelter those in need, uh, children. Do they do they matriculate as many children as they bring in? Uh, great word, Proddy. Great word. Do they? Can you define it for me? Just <laughs> Proddy, Proddy, Proddy puts his like, little thesaurus like. Uh, <laughs> word a day sure. calendar back so in you mean pocket. like send them out <laughs> <laughs> you mean like process them out of the yeah city? how many kids do you grad do you graduate the same number that you take in because it's great that they take in a lot of kids but do yeah, those kids i don't, I don't leave? know how that i know that obviously if they're going to take in more kids they they have to uh send them away or i don't know that's probably a bad term but uh process like prepare them for life but uh yeah, I don't know the numbers. I'm not familiar. You probably would have is to there... ask them. Oh, is there anyone in town that was raised by Auntie Nanny that's still around? That's like an adult. Good question, Aradia. I don't know mm. anyone, but I can ask around. That would be wonderful. Can we you would do just that like now, to please? talk to them. Yeah, we There's just want no, to talk I, to them. I have to finish getting ready for the day with our radio will clean up for you oh fuck you no i won't <laughs> uh that's kind of an i guess i could but you could you really could you're a strong independent woman <laughs> you know your worth who are you talking to right now i'm talking to the inn Keep. Okay. Her name is. <laughs> Checking. Her... I thought you were trying to persuade me in some way. And I... <laughs> no. Her name is Naomi BTW. Uh, Naomi. She's pretty tall, uh, human woman, short cropped blonde hair, uh, and she's she's uh, kind of confused as to such a r ridiculous request, considering she's trying to get the place. <laughs> it's like stopping somebody in, in the right before they open <laughs> and saying, hey, can you go just talk to people and figure this out? Um, you know what? Actually, here's something. Who would be the first person that you would go and ask? And maybe we'll just go ask them instead. I'd probably. I would like to try to just persuade her to do it. I'd probably just Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, roll your persuasion, and then I'll uh, talk while you roll. Uh, well, I'd probably go to the go to the uh, orphanages themselves. Just go to the Gid Ward, and I'd mm, go ask. It's them. an unnatural twenty. Okay. Uh, an unnatural twenty. Yes. I've got plus six persuasion. <laughs> I love how you you have such high charisma, and yet you're such a fucking asshole. So. <laughs> uh, uh, Naomi, would you be a dear and please talk to your friend who you suspect would be maybe one of the people who grew up in Auntie Nani's orphanage? Oh, I don't suspect anyone. I would just it would be a shot in the dark. And so she she says, "Yeah, sure, I'll go do that." <laughs> and she drops what she's doing, <laughs> and and she um. She says, please keep an eye on the place. You know, don't uh, don't uh, do anything untoward, please, or allow anyone to. And she exits. And so she's gone. And uh, you're left there uh, to finish your meal. And um, about 30 minutes later, she comes back. And she goes... Well, I went to a couple inns and uh, 
pretty close by and asked asked uh, the owners there, and um, they said they have a uh, one of them has a prep cook that uh, grew up there for a period of time, um, but he's not in until a little later. Uh, his name is just sale the prep cook cook where which inn was this just so yeah it's uh j h e s s a i l i guess that doesn't really um Giselle. it's called you the have to say it like this <laughs> it's called the uh long boulette the long boulette B as in boy. And uh, she goes, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. It's the best I could do. I'm going to get back to <laughs> running my business now. <laughs> Thanks. Um, we're thank just going to leave Naomi. the dishes here on this table while we chat. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Sometimes thank you. It pains me. It pains <laughs> me to hear him talk to other people. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, and she goes, well, thank you for paying for your breakfast. And your DM says, any of you who ate breakfast, it's uh, five silver. Uh, Great. So that was me because I did reference the turkey bacon. <laughs> The pancakes were excellent. <laughs> also, um, Aradia, remember, I'm not, uh, I just want to remind you, anytime you're in the sunlight, you have disadvantage on ability checks. Thanks for the reminder. Um, cool. So that means I'm rolling twice and I take the lowest one. Correct. correct. Uh, correct. Only if you're in direct sunlight. Um so you have that information. Where would you guys like to go? Oh, no, acid. <laughs> Should we go talk uh, to Giselle? Sure. Cool. So you guys make, make your way over to the uh, Long Boulette. And... The um, man just so you know, <coughs> my notes, bless you. Just so you know, in my notes, I wrote the long bullet and then in parentheses put with a fre French accent. That's what I put. Perfect. Uh, sorry, I'm writing real quick. Uh, you make it to the long bullet, and there is a male elf, uh, kind of fixing chairs behind tables and uh yeah he looks at you when you come in and he goes ah oh, welcome to the long boulette i am alar i'm the owner and currently i'm the only one working but i'd be happy to help you if uh you would like to grab a seat are you guys the ones that uh, naomi came in and uh, was asking for about someone who had grew up at the one of the orphanages. Yes, that's, that's us. us. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, they. She said it would be a. She had a motley crew of, of. Uh, <laughs> Adventurers. <laughs> Listen, I'll take motley over mangy. Motley's fine. Motley crew reminds me of this band I heard of this one time. <laughs> I got caught up there because when I said Motley crew, I, I uh, saw Catherine kind of go, should I be offended? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, he offers you a seat. And would you like uh, some ale? It's kind of early in the morning, but I don't judge. Would you like some ale? Would you like... I'd love a, a, a nice espresso, please. I'm... <laughs> what? How? What is that? What kind? Of... They're beans. They're roasted beans. Uh, coffee beans. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Yes. So you want a coffee? Um, and then I if you an have espresso. a if you have a Nespresso machine, it's kind of fun <laughs> because you can do it at home. Is this... You don't even have to go anywhere. You see it's him. Very expensive. You see oh, him. Uh... That tall with a little bit of almond milk and a little bit of cream on the side. Oh, do you know what you have? Do you have oat milk? Because I've really been into oat milk, but it's very hard to find places. Oh, no. <laughs> he, um, 
he went from you know being jovial to uh, <laughs> feeling really awkward and uh, just kind of pulling back a little bit and it's like I I feel like I missed an inside joke or I don't I'm not in that I don't know what you guys a want uh, a radio we team. want coffee a radio okay, I'm gonna go get you coffee then sir <laughs> What are you? Right. Radius still has his hand and is just no, stroking. No, he pulls it, but he it away. His hand <laughs> he pulls it away, and he goes and gets you guys coffee, and he says that'll be two copper. And... Wow, no I coffee thought for me, coffee please. was complimentary. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Would you like to persuade him, or yeah? <laughs> This coffee is complimentary, though, right? I mean, is this, oh, it's, is it's this a free because there's a uh, there's a bug in mine, and then and then Sarah puts a bug in her. <laughs> and then Madam, I just out. saw you do that. <laughs> Madam, I just saw you do that. Oh, so so you know that there's bugs in your inn. <laughs> there's bugs. I... Bugs are impossible to get rid of. Uh, he and he goes. He sighs to you, Nihilus, and goes, "Yes, it's." I guess it's complimentary, so... <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so nice. I fucking hate <laughs> Nihilus. <laughs> he must be such a joy to play. I honestly would have so much anxiety playing him. I would be comfortable constantly. <laughs> well, Richard, oh. Richard should have anxiety playing him when your DM says, I fucking hate your character. <laughs> uh... Uh, no, okay. I wouldn't drop rocks on him randomly. Uh, <laughs> wait, did you guys ask that? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so you guys wait there. I don't know if you want to talk to him more. Or Could we? We'd actually love to talk to your cook, uh, Giselle. Yeah, he doesn't come in for another couple hours, as I oh, told Naomi. Wow. I don't know if she told you that. Uh, she you was wanna... so vague. When I said that we should go and talk to Giselle, I meant at the time that he was actually there. Oh. So in my brain, we waited around. And then we... Okay. Yes, he's right back there. <laughs> Let me go grab him. And uh, he goes back and a human man in his mid-20s, shaved head, uh, stubble and uh, comes out probably about uh, 5'10 and uh, he says yes uh, Alar said you asked for me yes you have a great height I just wanted you to know you're 5'10 around 5'10 is that a good guess <laughs> I'm around 5'10 yes <laughs> No, I've been, hold on, wait. Oh, okay, everyone's back. What just happened? I feel like you made a good joke and I didn't get to hear it. Wasn't it a good joke, guys? <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I guess this character is dead to me now because I had some fun things planned, but now I don't know what he said. <laughs> um, hey, we heard that you uh, grew up at the orphanage. How was that experience for you? Any personal traumas? <laughs> that's a really odd question to ask but uh you seem forthcoming i think i think we have a good connection here uh, let's just get down to the nitty-gritty let's get to know each other no i grew i grew up at the master of the little petals home for a couple years in my older years oh uh, so you weren't raised by auntie nanny no that's not you what you were raised asked. by a halfling. You're right. You're right. And I'm still interested and engaged to know about your upbringing. Uh, I just wanted to get clear. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I... Did, did you have nightmares? Uh, I think just normal. None that I can recall right now. It just, was just normal nightmares. Nothing out of the... But like every night? No. No. <laughs> you know, like where your face melts off and you can't go to the dance. And 
<laughs> and you said that you that you were raised there when you were older. How old were you when you went to the House of the Little Petals? Well, I was uh, kind of, for lack of a better term, a street kid before that, and um, was running with a crew and got sentenced to the Little Petals home by one of the Sphinxes. I can never keep yes, them straight. How old were you when that happened? I was like 14 when they sent me there. So not 13 or 12 or 11 or anything <laughs> younger than that. Yes, I was 14. Oh. Curiouser and curiouser. How would you describe that crew that you ran with? It was one of the best times of my life, really. It was, you know, there's questionable things we did that I am not proud of, but... Dancing? We... No, not <laughs> dancing. It wasn't a Flash dance. Mops. Danzig? Yes. Did you listen to large amounts of Danzig? I don't know what Danzig is. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how it, my NPCs should react to... to uh, <laughs> The meta outside. Yes, because it will be here all day if I do. So I'm, I'll probably just ignore him. Uh, and he goes, "Yeah, it was just a, a we watched each other's backs, and uh, yeah, we were just I I don't know what happened to them, but I assume some of them are still out there. Maybe some of them. I know all of us wanted to join the the uh, thieves guild, but um, yeah." Did you and, have any uh, kids there that just, like, disappeared, never to be heard from again? Some of them ran away. I know. But, like, definitively you know that, that they ran away, they didn't just disappear? I suppose not, but that's what we... Assumed. Assumed. You know what they say about assuming. <laughs> no, what do they Don't say? Don't do it. Make, makes an ass out <laughs> of you and me, Ing. <laughs> <laughs> and he that's another thing they say about it yeah he takes a moment and thinks about it and uh actually i'm gonna roll to see if he gets that no nope. <laughs> didn't get it <laughs> so can i answer any other questions or wish i could make improv audiences roll <laughs> <laughs> um, and... uh, are there any do you keep in touch with anyone from your um, some of the younger kids were you friends with any of the younger kids from your home and do you still keep in touch with them mm, no I, I, I don't keep in touch with them there was uh, one kid who uh, who I kind of looked out for because he got picked on a little bit um, and he was smaller oh what's his name I love tiny children his name is Maddie and I think I never asked him his last name, but I think I heard them saying it was Arneson. Arneson. It's a human, but he was just, he was about the size of a gnome. Oh, and no, um, no clue of where he is now. No, I mean, yeah, I, he could still be there. He was about, Five. No, he can't be there. DM doing math in his head real quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think he's probably. I don't know where he is. I didn't keep in touch. I just um, probably on the streets. Uh, uh, <laughs> do we do we have any more questions for this man? I'm good. What's your favorite thing to cook and <laughs> cook it? <laughs> I really. I really love making um, creme brulee. Have you heard of creme brulee? Wow, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Can you make, make us some? Sure, his eyes light up and he goes, we don't call it creme brulee here, we call it creme brulee. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> uh, good job, DM. Uh, he goes, yeah, I'll go make you some. Uh, just uh, 
you know, tell... It's complimentary. <laughs> yeah, as I was about to say, just tell Alar that I... Uh, so we're pretty slow right now. Just t- tell him it's uh, <laughs> on me. And he goes back, comes back a little later with some creme boule and puts it out in front of you. And it looks pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me see if he rolls to get... <laughs> same, same number. Didn't get it. <laughs> oh my god. Do you happen to boo any beer in the back? <laughs> Even lower. Doesn't get it. <laughs> Keep them coming. The dice no, the dice no. <laughs> dice sometimes I feel like they have a sense of humor and drama, but um, yeah. Yeah. So he sent you that and uh about that time you guys are digging in and it's fantastic. Uh creme boule. And you hear a familiar voice echo in your guys' uh, heads. Hey, what are you guys? Are you guys uh, busy hey, right now? Are you still? You're, hey, Max. Hey. Max, how are you doing this? Because I, I don't think we have the stone anymore, and I don't think we gave you one of our serpents. I think it's just one of the the advantages of being a home-brewed <laughs> character in uh in anista you know how i can do multiple mage hands and multiple big big bees hands i think it's uh yeah i just can do it i can send sending messages multiples wow we're getting a lot of rustling (laughs) feedback i know i know that's my bad that's my bad i should have muted myself uh, for adjusting my headset yeah, he says, yeah, that's how I do it. Anyways, I got, do you guys remember uh, Horace uh, Rich? No. No. <laughs> Should we? Uh... <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh... <laughs> Horace Rich, uh, I can look through my 12 pages of notes and try to find it. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't Sorry, I was having problems with my headphones. What did you just say, Jake? <laughs> Horace, Horace Rich. Do you remember a character named Horace Rich? Oh, that sounds familiar. Um, Horace Rich doesn't sound familiar to me. So Thanks. enjoy that. <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm. I think I have it right. But now that you guys said that, you're making me que- question it, or I'm questioning it. I'm not confident in the name. I will check. <laughs> real quick but the goal is you remember the guy who who paid you all that money for the information on the death whistle the minotaur oh yes yes. yeah uh his brother is here and uh wants to talk to you guys and make you an offer if you want to stop by Hey Max, yeah. quick question. Do that. Sure. Um, how do we kill a hag? Holy <laughs> shit, that's a question. Uh, it's not a quick answer though. Uh, okay, you... we'll come to you then. All right. So you guys head over to Venture Ventures. Thanks for the creme boulet. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, you head to Venture Ventures Venturing Agency. In the Arbor Green area of the city, head on in, and uh, Max is already out there with another Minotaur, uh, who's... How many are there? Jeez! Who's uh, a little more muscular than the previous one you saw in here, who I said was Horace Rich, which I still think is the name I used, Uh, but... (laughs) It's canon now. uh, Unless, you know... I might have fucked it up. Anyways, uh, yeah, please, um, listeners, write in. Please let us, please tell us if it was wrong or not. Thank you so much. Uh, so Where can they send their comments to Jake? This is how we cross promote. At Jake El Friday. <laughs> at El or, Cholo. Or at... our uh, Twitter, <laughs> or our Twitter handle, Venture Ventures, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> You're or, welcome. Thank you. Or the website, Always VentureVentures.live. Promoting. This is what I'm here for, is just to remind us about the business aspect of this fun thing that we do on the weekends. 
Exactly. <laughs> uh, hey, if if we get a uh, popular enough, we could even get a, a studio offered to us. Mm. But um, so the they're talking. Max goes, "Ah, oh, you're you're here. This is this is Hati." Uh, Hati. Like H O T T I E. No. Oh. Keep, keep... like H U. <laughs> H A U G H T Y. Correct. Like he's hotty. Like he's a real hotty mess. He's a hotty uh, rich. Is that your name? He hot. No, his name is Hotty Cowpier. And I... a... oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm naming my child that Hotty Cowpier. Oh. He's a uh, he's a minotaur, and he's a member Clearly. of the guild. Uh the members who run the docks, the Gilded Quay, and he turns to you and goes, Hello, I'm I'm Haughty. I heard you met my brother who stupidly gave you a stupid amount of money. No, uh, we wouldn't say that. You guys don't sound very similar. Did you did you were you educated in different continents? He's just a fucking idiot. Oh uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, I can I can one. relate to you, Hottie. <laughs> oh, can you? All right. Yeah. Uh, we both have idiot siblings. Well, congratulations. <laughs> it's a burden. Uh, but uh, I wanted to make you an offer. I, uh, before I became a member of the Gilded Quay, I was somewhat of an adventurer myself, and I was wondering if I could... You know, if you're going to adventure anytime soon, if I could join you, I would, of course, pay for uh, my meals, membership. Meals, room, board, everything? Yes, yes. If that's what you... Meals, room, and board, I can definitely pay for. Do you want to vanquish a hag with us? A what? <laughs> <laughs> a night a hag, hag, specifically. <laughs> Well, what's we're your, just getting right most, into it. What's your most intimate nightmare? <laughs> I, I'd rather not say if I'm being honest. <gasps> you know but, what? Uh, he's, Hello, sir. Uh, yes. What? Do, uh, but I, I mentioned my name. I'm Hearty Calpier. What are your names? Oh, that's a bit too intimate for me. Um, Proddy, <laughs> what's up? Hello, Proddy. Norma Jean. Um, Norma? <laughs> I'm Sierra Sarah. <laughs> Is a radio laughing? <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, Hati goes. All it's right. Such a beautiful name. <laughs> um, you look and sound filthy rich. Would you be interested in uh, paying one of those churches to lift a curse from us all here? Uh, uh, I'm we, sure. You know what? Really exhausted. You do want to venture with us, don't you? I mean, that's a some big favors I'd have to call in. Uh, they survive on those donations even though they're hardly donations uh but but you'll be paying for it yes but what i'm saying is like i'm not an idiot there's a reason i got to be this wealthy is i did not throw my money away so if i do that i get to adventure f with you for yes. one month uh i will Pay whoever I need to pay to... You said all of you are cursed? Yes. Currently, Jesus. yes. We How have do you feel cast... about sharing a bed with all of us? Yeah, that's really Just the most sleeping. important. Just sleeping. Just yeah. sleeping. That yeah, is a yeah, requirement. Yeah. I mean, occasionally we'll lightly fondle, but only in non-bikini areas. <laughs> <laughs> I usually sleep in my own room... Uh... But uh, I just, appreciate the offer. 
It just feels like you're not going to get the full adventuring experience <laughs> if you sleep separately. Like, I can tell you there was this one time that Sarah was spooning me in the middle of the night and all of a sudden she just started playing with my belly button. At first, I was very uncomfortable. And then it just became soothing. And now, whenever I get upset, Sarah will stick her thumb in my belly button and it makes me feel very calm. That's camaraderie. <laughs> you see this cow person's <laughs> minotaur face go like... <laughs> 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 We uh, do here at the Big Bed Fellows enjoy a good uh, belly button play. I've once made out with <laughs> Sarah's belly button. Belly button play is tickling me to no end. <laughs> I don't know about belly button play, uh, but uh, I think I'll stick to my own room. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I get to adventure for one month. And I will get this curse removed from you as best I can, pay who I need to pay. And help us defeat this hag. Well, listen, you know what? Hags are pretty. Is it? <laughs> is it just the one? And where is the hag? At the orphanage. <laughs> are you so... positive about that? There's quite... It's so, so just so I understand, so you want to get a thrill of adventuring so you're hiring us to kind of show you the ropes and take you on some adventures is that all you what are you looking to get out of this deal well let me tell you something sierra sarah i who my days are spent <laughs> oh, me. Yeah. he doesn't even like hear you my days are spent confined to an office and looking at ledgers and inspecting goods and making sure middle management and upper management are doing their job down at the docks. It is tedious to say the least. Mm. So I feel like I'm already dead and I need to <laughs> feel like I'm really living. You know, well, I can relate to that. Yeah. So, so I, can I, I fill him in on all the the, the backstory of what we're doing. Like, uh, we went into the future, and then uh, we met Nihilus' sister, and he was really mean to her. But she was beaten and missing fingers, and she told us about the story that happened 12 years ago, which is today. And then uh, we came back in time, and then we went to investigate these orphanages, because we think they're, they're eating children. Uh, and we think, we don't really know, but we did some undercover work and we had a lemonade stand and she knew it was a lemonade stand that wasn't really selling lemonade, but we got away with it. And we <laughs> think that she's a hag and that she kidnaps 13 year olds to turn into hag children. And we think the other two orphanages might or might not be related to the hag coven, but we don't know yet. Holy shit. There's a <laughs> hag coven in Anista. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> you still want to adventure with us, big boy? In terrible Wi Fi. And, and he has a. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's a uh, mostly black fur uh, and with silver highlights. Uh, and on his back, he's got. Um, he's got like leather armor, but on his back, you see a pretty fucking huge glaive. Um, and he looks like a terrifying. Uh, person, if he can fight as as well as uh, it looks I, like he can. Uh, I was. I, I want to back, or is that like weird? <laughs> uh, I, what? Oh my god, you what? can't do it! Wait, wait, <laughs> what did you say, Justin? Are we allowed to ride on your back, or is that too? Weird? Oh, okay, that's not where I was going with all this description. <laughs> oh, that's very okay. demeaning and condescending to say that to. An, uh, huh? A being who, who's very closely related to creatures that are used as beasts of burden. I'm gonna. Oh, so can I ask you a much more appropriate question? Um, <laughs> do you do you produce milk, <laughs> <laughs> sir? He's I a am a male. I still don't get it. You have to... I don't understand. I also have a personal question. Oh, no. What, what animal did that leather come from? Max Max is like... 
has <laughs> he's just, just outside your conversation zone and he's got four <laughs> visible mage hands just rubbing his temples <laughs> and the top of his head and I just I just need to know it's not cow. And Martha is just not paying attention, just buried in her ledger. Uh and he goes he goes, No, it's not cow, how dare you? Good, good. You can be um, trusted. Aradia brings everyone. She's like, oh, we just, excuse me, just one second. We just need a moment to sort of um, talk this out. Hold on. And so she brings everyone together. She goes, I don't know. He seems like a lot, you know? <laughs> he seems like a lot. Wow. I don't I'm know surprised that coming from vibe. you. I don't know that he's our vibe. Like, he, he's like, did you see the way he responded to belly button play? Like, nothing. It <laughs> just gave him nothing. I don't know that he's our... I, how, how I... like... Like, if we get rid of this hag, will the curse get rid on its own? Because then maybe we don't even need him. But if we go into this fight without removing the you curse... You know it will. We go in weaker. Already, you know it will. And this thing is already yeah. strong. Great. He could buy us drinks and, and new fur coats. And, uh, and he uh, uh -huh. also, like, we uh -huh. could... We, like, he, he looks like he can wield a sword pretty well, or a cleave. And just because he has, just because he has a cleave on his back, doesn't mean he knows how to do anything with it. Sarah, well, that's, you're fair. Than this. that's fair. Intimidates the hag, and and what if we just throw him in front of the hag, and then she kills him while we we run out of there? Okay, that's fair. I would keep him around for that. Yeah, he'd be like a minotaur <laughs> human shield. So while you guys are having that conversation, Hati went to Max and was discussing with him and and. Uh, um, once you guys are done, he turns to me and he goes, I'm having second thoughts about this whole thing, Max. Um, is there another group of adventurers I may join? Uh, no. And, and... No, 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 you're part of us. You're part of our big, big fellow. No, listen, hold on. We didn't even finish negotiations. When I said I would help you remove the curse, I, I was about to say before being interrupted that if I help you remove the curse in whatever way I could... I would not be paying for room, board, and food. The payment would be getting rid of the curse. Also, let me ask you a question. You said you're cursed. I assume you're going to tell me it's by a hag. Uh, how do you know if, and if it's a coven of hags, how do you know which hag did it? Because if you kill the wrong hag, it's not going to remove the curse if that's not the hag that cursed you. Well, we're going to kill all the hags, just to be sure. And, and you're also, sure uh, they're all hags, not some other creature of the Fae or some other sort? I mean, we can't promise we won't kill some innocent orphans. <laughs> <laughs> there may be children that collaterally get damaged, but that's just what you have to deal with when you're an adventurer. Adventuring is not convenient, Hottie. Yeah, I don't know what you, you think you were alive? signing up for. It's well, a lot of morally gray area. Here's what I'm signing up for. I'm I'm paying an awful lot of money. I'm going to be using my uh, connections to save you an awful lot of money and get rid of this curse. And I'm paying to l feel like I'm I'm alive again and not deal with the minor concerns that typical adventurers have to deal with. That's something you will have to take care of. I don't want to hear about. Just, just minor things. I want to hear about the epic stories and future battles and past battles around the campfire and such and such. Uh, okay, you listen to me, you big shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is what adventuring is. You say you want the experience of being an adventurer. You shut up and you take it. <laughs> now, are we going to get this curse lift or not? Ma Max, is uh, <laughs> this one... Uh, Still, uh, is always like this. And Max goes, <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I, I, I do think I have another adventuring group if they're not your speed, haughty. I don't want... God damn it, Max. Uh, do you say that out loud? <laughs> yes. And Max goes, listen, you guys are <laughs> just going, just showing full, your full just speed bikes and terrible <laughs> things immediately you're not even trying to hide 
your flaws in front of him and you're already annoying him and not even trying to flaws? get along? Hey, it's debatable. How do I like your brooch? Where are all these friends? <laughs> he goes, Radio. Oh, go ahead. He goes, thank you, but I am not sure of your motivations or <laughs> intentions Our with that compliment. Aradia um, sort of sidesteps over to him and says, listen, we believe in radical transparency, so you know exactly what you're getting <laughs> when you come to us. Here is what I can promise you. We're weirdos, but we like each other, and we want to make sure that we're all safe ultimately and so if you join our group we will do our best to protect you her fingers are crossed behind your back um <laughs> we will do our best to protect you and bring you camaraderie and if someone outside of the group calls you a big shit <laughs> we will throw rocks at the head for you are you it's not glamorous being an adventurer but are you just... we will give you an authentic experience haughty a part of the goes, authentic experience body is that what we what we really need is someone to like keep us organized and to kind of act as a layer between between Max and us, you know, someone to manage us, you know, but someone to be in between Max and us, kind of like a we middle need manager. Like a PR, what do you mean like by PR that, Prady? I I thought we got along fine. I'm. I we don't need we don't need middle management. What what do you No, I just I totally understand like you wanting to get out of the corporate life and adventure and feel alive. And that's what you'll find on this team. You'll you know, you'll get down and dirty with us, but ultimately we we need someone who can keep us organized and to manage us and you know, in a kind of adventuring way. So you ignore what Max just said and just keep talking to, <laughs> to Hottie. <laughs> Christ. Uh, you just hear Max say that. And uh, all of you who were deceiving, go ahead and roll a deception check. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I de were we deceiving? I'm speaking to mostly Aradia and Prodi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't promise anything. I guess that's good. <laughs> I'm not in direct sunlight right now, right? I'm in a building. <laughs> Correct. Sarah, like, shields her with her. <laughs> <laughs> Way to game the system. Eleven. Ooh, yeah, he knows. He knows from me. I got a Fucking shit, I'm sure... man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Uh, I, for some reason, I believe you. <laughs> 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 uh, well let's um, go get this curse lifted yay but what's your favorite thing to cook <laughs> I'm a big fan of chicken oh oh god oh. that's so offensive Prodi wow. do you not care <laughs> oh as long as it's not you know Raven. Yeah, I guess uh, yeah. No, yeah, and I guess in fairness, it's like what could he say? If he if he said beef, he would offend himself. If he said fish, he would off offend Nihilus. I guess it's fine. <laughs> 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 uh, Nihilus slaps Aradia across the face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Aradia could probably dodge that if she wanted to or catch it. Um, no, she lets him slap her because she likes it a little. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like comparing a chicken to a crow or a raven is so... I'm sure if a crow or a raven were able to speak English, they would be offended by being uh, so closely related to a chicken. But um... I do like to think that Aradia is the kind of like white woke person that like tries really hard but really doesn't know anything. fucks up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. I really only uh abstain from eating scavenging birds so you know everything else yeah a little little bit of chicken slipped into a salad a couple times it didn't bother me 
Fair enough. <laughs> That's sort of how I feel about children. You know, if a child <laughs> into a salad, I don't. I mean, they're not fully formed. It's probably fine. You got a little, a little <laughs> nauseous there. Just, yeah. uh, Are you a hag? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you just turn. Poppy. Uh, <laughs> hey, Poppy, we are all Poppy. Uh, <laughs> um, Sarah, Sarah wants to like test if this hottie is actually a hag in disguise. So she like maybe does a lot of finger gestures and tries to like <laughs> see if she wants to bite my fingers. Sierra, what in the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I oh nothing, nothing. I'm glad you're not a uh, yeah. You're part of the team. You want to get matching jean jackets? Your treat. <laughs> I don't. We'd have to get it made. We're both large beings it would yeah let's do it <laughs> <laughs> you max... know what adventuring jean jacket max you said the... <laughs> hold on I'm going through my notes this is, i've just never i've just never felt more clear that a character was going to be a representative of the DM than Hottie is. Like, I feel like <laughs> Hottie is, is exactly how Jake feels with dealing with us all the time. Like, no, if you want to feel part of the team and we're a team of adventurers and we got to have fun matching jean jackets to show our enemies that we mean business. He turns to Max and uh, Max and he goes, Max, you, you said the clam jammers were. And coming back from there, wherever they are, and their they're dead. current adventures. Is that true, Max? Are they dead? Max says, no, they're I don't know why he said that. He has no clue what he's talking about. Why would he even... Anyways, they're not dead. They're on their way back from their adventure, as I told you. You just have to wait like another month, month and a half tops, and then I'm sure they would happily uh, take you on board as sort of a... Uh... You know, they would be your Too tour late. guide. The, the, the contract has been signed. You're with us. Let's go. Again, I don't know why there. he's saying that, Hottie. It's ridiculous <laughs> that he's, okay. he's just making Hottie shit up now. I, I heard that the clam jammers have like a very, very rigid corporate structure as mm. part of their mm. group. Yeah. So I don't they know like if you're going to get much suit. adventuring. They I like hear they sell drugs to kids. Oh, that's another thing Hottie <laughs> speaks up. Uh, that reminds me, please do not mention any more business jargon on our adventures. I want to be as far away from that world as possible. Uh, if you I... got it. We won't talk about progress supports or Roth IRAs at all while you're with us. Synergy, 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 synergy. Okay, I got okay. it out of my system. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. well, uh, we'll give this a shot, and I will take you to the deference district. I can call in a few favors there if you... Mm. Oh, my God, but you, you said you don't even know who, which, wh which hag, if there's multiple hags, if they are hags, which one's cursed you, and you're not sure... I think we're I mean, assuming it, at we're... this point it's Auntie Nani, since she's the yes. only one we've come in contact with. I would agree and the only that. one we've offended so far. Yes. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure we offended don't other work people on her. with the idea of us, but... I tried to I tried to charm her, and it didn't work. So you you tried to uh, charm what? Charm monster? Charm what? Char I just tried to charm person, Auntie So Nani. she's not a hu humanoid. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, it didn't... It, she's not what she appears to be. Okay. Further evidence that she's possibly yeah. a hag. Well, all right. Well, let's just get the you guys uncursed first. And he leads you guys out to the deference district and uh, takes you to. Uh, hey, Hottie. Uh, Sarah puts on. Yes. Like, what, what was your name again? I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. Who me? The cute yes. one on down here. Um, <laughs> my. <laughs> My name is Niolis. Did I not introduce myself yet? Uh, I don't remember. Like I said, I'm terrible with names. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what, what did you want to ask me, young Niolis? Do you have any uh, connections to any good magic colleges? Apparently, I promised my sister <laughs> I could get her into some schools, the little brat. Um, 
We can discuss yes, I, this later yeah, too, if uh, need be. But it, it, yeah, I think I can probably <clears throat> look into some things uh, regarding oh, that, whether it's the wandering college here or uh, other mm, places. Mm, mm. Uh, that was one of her top choices. I what believe. were the other ones she mentioned to you? There were. I have no idea what they were. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Well, that's going to be a problem if I'm to get her into it. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk to her again. Don't you worry your cute little self about it. Uh, okay. And... <laughs> uh, okay, we're here. I just rage quits right now. <laughs> I don't know why... Uh... <laughs> Maybe why a, I don't know why I choose person. these ideals for <laughs> I, these NPCs. Like, <laughs> like you need to just play someone who is as weird as us, so you can just get on board with, with this bandwagon. Like, <laughs> I've only made one. I think if it, if my memory serves me correctly, I've only made. They've either been like neutral to your shenanigans or. Uh, annoyed with it, and I've only made one who thought it was funny, one NPC. Um, Do you know who I really enjoyed was Prestidigitation Wall. I liked him. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe he if you would have spent really more nice. more time with him and learned his name, you could have uh, <laughs> helped him out. <laughs> we did help him, vaguely, for a moment. And, and then he forgot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh... So he leads you to the Deverance District and takes you straight to the Temple of Tear. And um, as you guys walk in, the two guards flanking the doors. Um, are you still in the same guise that they saw you in previously, Sarah? <laughs> Bring uh... it, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I? Uh, I don't know how long that lasts. It's probably over now, right? I feel like Hottie would have at least mentioned that you <laughs> were with child if you weren't. Um, That's a good yeah, point. You were still. <laughs> Are you in the same? Uh, um. Sh sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm not the, <laughs> I explained to Hottie like this is how they know me. I'm, I, they, I have a reputation here, so. So okay, kind of well, thank you for telling me and not just a, be turning yourself into a pregnant uh, pop <laughs> singer. Uh, yeah. So, uh, as you're walking in, the two guards go, Hello! You again! Hi. Blessed by Tia! Hi, how's it going? Childbirth coming! And they just keep <laughs> going on and you on. You said that very meanly, <laughs> but okay, yes. I am with child, the, the more positive way to say that. <laughs> Positivity is Grimjaw's favorite thing, and they're just bullshitting now. Okay, yeah, this is a fun religion. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lifestyle, sir. Are you cheering? <laughs> <laughs> when are you due, ma'am? <laughs> Uh, real soon, real soon. <laughs> I just want a, pre a pregnant woman to be called Sirs. If I ever saw that, I would lose my... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head in, and uh, uh, Tear asks for uh, Father Brooks Passman. And uh, someone goes off into the back, and uh, Brooks Passman comes out, and he's actually a tiefling, which you know is somebody who has infernal <laughs> blood, and infernal means devil. Yeah, so why you here? Uh, Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, so uh, once he sees, once Hottie sees you guys seeing that and your confusion, 
He goes, oh, listen, I, I often forget that his infernal heritage confuses people. It's, it's uh, in case you don't know what uh, being a tiefling means, it means someone in the past made a deal with a devil of some kind or something or other, and uh, it expresses itself somewhat randomly in, in the progeny for, thereon. So just don't, it's not a big deal. He's not evil, clearly. He's a priest of Tyr. So he will be, he's a head priest here, so he can't be evil, of course. So he's going to hopefully <laughs> help me help you. So uh, just be uh, nice. And Brooks comes up and... I'm mistrustful of all religions! <laughs> <laughs> Do you, like, yell that like that? <laughs> enter, a, yeah. enter a temple. <laughs> I'm mistrustful of all religions! Yes. Uh, uh, Sarah compliments. Oh, I love what you did with your devil horn. Just yeah, and, they're, and they and um, <clears throat> they come out, obviously, but they, they're swept back pretty far. And Wind he, swept, yeah windswept horns and uh he's got black <laughs> hair pretty light red skin tone um and he approaches and says oh haughty uh, i haven't seen you in what has it been uh, six months since you last uh, stepped foot in the temple uh, i know uh we'd love to see you but i'm glad you're here now so uh what can i uh help you with guilt here? trip are you, who who are these people uh, next to you that uh, are making all these uh, noises and such? We're exhausted. Maybe, maybe and exhausting, help. just in case. And exhausting. <laughs> well, I can see Hottie's face. It looks like he's aged and uh, a lot more than since the last time I've seen him. So, uh, Hottie, <laughs> who, who are these? And Hottie looks at you guys and is like, Would you care to introduce yourself? I went to school with this fellow. Please be nice. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Sarah. Uh, I mean, Sierra. <laughs> My name's Sierra. And, what? Uh, Hottie speaks of, What is your name, <laughs> madam? Uh, Sierra. Sierra. It's... Well, the, the good news is, it doesn't matter because I'll probably forget it. So, uh. So... Okay. Licorice vendor pump. Hello. <laughs> oh, this one evidently lied to me about her name, father. So, uh, uh... Nihilus extends his hand. Nihilus Nameareth, a sorcerer extreme, uh, uh, blessed by the gods. Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, and uh... I'm pod podding pod. <laughs> 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 Hottie's gonna Jake, kill himself. Jake, I'm so sorry. Jake, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's partially my it's my partially my fault because I wanted to have a hottie a hottie minotaur who was just this way and uh this is what I get. So uh it's fine. Uh, and... uh by the way, where are we supposed to go so we can hear this poppy song? Just so I know. <laughs> Google X. Poppy. Google. No, no, no. I mean, within the world. Like, are we supposed to be going somewhere to, like, play? Or was this just for your nightmare? I want to know how the Poppy <laughs> song works into the story we were going to do today. Because clearly we've devolved oh, into be, something Just completely. be patient. Just be patient. <laughs> the DM has a plan. Okay. okay. I'm going to work it in. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be shoehorned. We'll see where you guys go. <laughs> but I swear to God, it's going to happen. So... Okay, okay. I just didn't want to like leave out of this beautiful thing that you are creating. That's all. Um. <laughs> so Hottie tells father, and they kind of uh, tells him about that you're cursed, and uh, think it's by a hag, and uh, need to get cured. Um, and they joke about their schooling time together and, uh, inside jokes there. <clears throat> we get it. You're learned. Okay. I dedicated my whole life to knowledge. So we get it. Okay. And where, <laughs> did, where did that get you? Oh, 
Dang. <laughs> Aradia just starts sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, was it something I said? <laughs> it got me friends, okay? It got me friends and it got me out of my sad little life that I didn't know that I didn't like anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man and Hottie <laughs> looks Sarah so comforts her like kind of takes, takes her to the side like you've done enough <laughs> <laughs> and also I can only assume playing with a radius belly button would that be true oh man yeah, in the temple comfort, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's uh... soothing it's nothing sexual <laughs> Okay. Uh, can so... we ask the can we ask the chief thing real quick if he knows anything about hags and how to kill them? Uh, well, what kind of hag is it? Uh, a night three, hag, we think. A night, a night. We think it's a night hag. Three of them also are you think it's a... children. All right, you think it's a coven of hags? Uh, and um, it's a night hag. Well, night hags are more. Uh, first of all, I'd suggest you research as much as possible and talk to as many people who know about the subject but from what i know of hags uh it's that the night hag if i recall correctly is more fiend than fey which means if you kill them they go back to the lower plains which means you can't really kill them which means they'll probably eventually find their way back also uh oh. <laughs> Have you done... They have something, uh, some sort of a, an ethereal quality to them where they can uh, go back and forth between the material plane and the ethereal plane, which is quite handy if you're trying to uh, not be seen uh, by anyone other... Who, oh. By most people who don't have true sight, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, there is... There is, let me think, there is a, have you uh, gone to the Aspel Arcana and asked uh, if you may, uh, you know, talk to anyone about this, uh, or, or? I feel like we did try and have a conversation with them and then they just weren't like, they weren't, oh, that's right, we were, we were bad there. I Shocking. Uh, well, <laughs> if there's anyone who would, um, know about it, it would be the, uh, High Keeper or, or the, uh, Grand Purser of the Aspel Arcana, that is, the High Keeper is Anara Kiltraxon, and, uh, the Grand Purser is Angus Grillwees. He is quite the old fart, so I would start... Uh, if you have connections, which evidently you do, at least with my friend here, if you would uh, use some connections to talk to her, she may be able to help you. If you're and that was Nara. What was her last name again? Kiltraxon. Kiltraxon. Thank you. K i l t r a x a n. Wait, and Nara is is that Nyla's sister's name? I n a r a. Anara oh. and Annalise. They don't sound the same at all. Uh, they... Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's Annalyn. Oh, nobody knows your sister's name. <laughs> it's wow. Anna, it's Anna No Fingers. We, we've only been dedicating Anna no the past week to this mission. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, uh, Hati uh, just... Um, Yes, I can. I think I can do uh, just greater restoration. I'll have to. I can do uh, two of them. Let me just check the spell. And he starts talking to Hottie about, you know, they depend on those donations for things like these. 450 gold would go a long way to helping uh, followers of Grimjaws, etc., etc. 
And um, Haughty says, yes, but, you know, scratch my back. Scratch, blah, blah, blah. And which two of you wants to be... Um, the deal was for four. Jesus Christ, Nihilus, <laughs> I know that. I'm. He said he can only do two. I'm going to take you to another temple after this. Okay. Who has the least amount of HP? Because I'm at 21. I think I kept all my HP. I just, like, now have severe... You just have one level of exhaustion. Yeah. Um, yeah. So somebody else can do it besides me. Um, uh, yeah, you, someone else can do it. I, 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 I'm only missing three health. I, I think it's fine. Okay, so myself and whoever else wants it. Prady, yeah. you want it? You're on mute. Prady, claim your prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want it. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... The two I'm, small at I'm at 27, so I'm, I'm down six HP. Oh, okay, uh, Father Brooks um, prays over the two of you and calls for Tear's blessing to restore you to your full glorious intended it... might, and you feel fucking a tingle, fantastic. It's like it's it's like um instantaneous relief, and um yeah. What does instantaneous relief sound like for these two? I want to know. Oh. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Prati just starts seizing. <laughs> Which is very frightening in some respects. <laughs> okay. So uh, they... Uh, Oh, uh, Father um, Passman says to you guys, also, if you're not in the city, there's always uh, Galder Fent. He is the, not a, he's very, he's not associated with with anyone, but he's pretty, you guys, uh, everybody roll a an intelligence check. Ooh, I seventeen. I intelligent. It's so interesting that Aradia is so perceptive, but she is oh not God. smart. I got 12. a nat. I got a 17. natural twenty. Aradia, you can use history for that. Oh yeah. Okay. Then hold on. Wait. Let's see. So that was twelve plus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's fine. Okay. All, Fifteen. Fifteen. All of you um, know that he's a. Uh, he's an archmage and he has a um, tower, a mage tower called Draven Moor D as in dog R-A-V-E-N Moor, M-O-O-R and um, yes, it is uh, so what was the mage's name again? Archmage? Gal Galderfent yeah, G A L D E R F E N D is in dog T. Okay. That's actually someone um, who uh um that's the character of someone on Reddit who uh um like a, a DM who's uh, diagnosed with terminal cancer and so uh people were like um putting them in their campaign. So Aww. um Aww. That's the Archmage and Tower of Dra Dravenmoor, Dravenmoor. Um, and then Haughty takes you to... He kind of thinks on when it for... Yeah, oh, go ahead. When, when we leave, um, Niolis turns to Father Passman and says, we appreciate what you did for us, and if you if you ever need any relief, and he winks at him... <laughs> <laughs> this is a place of worship <laughs> you fiend he kind of looks at you for a second and he goes okay thank you uh, may tear bless you just kind of not sure what to make of it um, Nihilus swishes his hips as he walks away 
Okay. <laughs> Noted. Aradia makes that noise behind him. <laughs> yeah. Um, so where do you, um, I'm going to have to, Hottie goes, I'm going to have to pay for the next two, but that's fine. It's what we agreed upon. Which temple would you, I think it's, they all charge about the same donation wise. What temple would you guys uh, like to go to? Uh, and you guys can see that there's Bahamut's temple, there's um, Mistra's temple, there's, you've been to Garl's, Glittergold's temple, there's Alarder's temp temple, there's um, Moradin's temple, which is uh, the over god of the dwarfs, there's Pelor. Um, Ooh, let's go to Pelor. He the, sounds oh, fun. He's the god oh. of sun and agriculture. It just sounds so interesting. Pelor. I don't want to go to a god of sun. I don't want to go to a god of sun. Okay, well, fine. Then you choose someone. <laughs> a radio. Well, I wanted to know what your favorite was. I'm not What's much of a, of a religious person myself, but... Uh, I'm sure I've met some of these people will find in either of the any of the temples at, at city functions before. Uh, I just can't seem to remember any of that. I I know Father Brooks, as I've mentioned, uh, for a long time. So that's where I went first. And I would probably say we go to... Well... Uh, probably Pelor or... Fine! Just fine! Let's go to Pelor! <laughs> Jesus! Bahamut or Avandra or... Bahamut is that weird goat thing, right? It looks like a goat. That is the platinum dragon. I thought you were a <laughs> learned woman. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of uh, Bot is what I was thinking of. Sorry about that. Say that again. Don't worry about it. Bot? I pretend like I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let's just go to Pelor. It's fine. Okay. And you go we, to... I, Sarah throws a sheet over a radio. She does it <laughs> in, the, in the sun. <laughs> Thank so... you. You go up to this <laughs> temple, and it's got very... It's got the whitest... Um, ionic pillars out of all of the temples and there's a big stained glass window it's all like i've said before all of the temples are pretty thin because they're all smashed into this area of the city that they're restricted to and this one has a big stained glass sun at the front of it and nobody's <sighs> out <laughs> nobody's out front um like they're guarding it, uh, paladins out front guarding it, like there were at other temples. But you go in, and there's a fair yeah. number of of people there who are worshiping and praying and uh, whatnot. And Hati uh, goes up to the nearest cleric he could tell, and speaks to them, and tells them that he wants to make a donation uh, to the temple of Pelor, if they would be so kind as to uh, perform greater restoration upon his two friends here, and... Strong word. Uh, are you saying that out loud? I keep asking this, because I don't know. I don't know. If, here's a good way to know. If I have my ass on, I am saying it out loud. Don't, then it's just Catherine talking. It's why I like playing characters with um, <laughs> with accents, is because it helps differentiate. That's a good rule of thumb, because that will help. So he goes, What? Just play along, Aradia. It's just, uh, we don't have to grab. Okay, but tea. legally speaking, we aren't friends yet, just so we're clear. <laughs> I don't even understand what that even, means. We haven't even slept in a bed together yet. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not even like... It's All like right. you turn down our bed and then you wonder why we don't care. <laughs> you offered me... You, I had just met you and We're you... We're business acquaintances. Exactly, and you want me to say. sleep in the same bed as you and you allow me to allow your... Just have free reign with my belly button? 
Okay, listen, in fairness, I believe in consent. So if you said no belly button touching, that's fine. We establish rules. We listen to it. We have safe words. Like, I, consent is very important. However, we all slept together the first night. So that's all I'm saying about that. <laughs> I guess you I'm just... just embrace the adventures. I'm just... Well, I wasn't expecting that kind of... He's laughing. I wasn't expecting that kind of adventure. And uh, the cleric he had been talking to had gone back to fetch their their uh, high, high uh, priest who comes out and does the prayer on... Who was it? Aradia and uh, Sarah? Sierra. Yeah. Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Hadi is interchangeably using Sarah or Sierra, so because um, he doesn't know, and quite frankly, he doesn't care. Um, and, and, and Sarah's confused both times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't your intelligence go up because we made the uh, the uh, subtle mechanical change to Sarah? Oh, yeah. I mean, she's choosing to be confused. Oh, okay, uh, that's, <laughs> that's a character trait. That's not a. That's sure. not a. It's like true a true like, lack of intelligence. Like she keeps her enemies like always like on 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 level ground so that she has the upper hand. So like, <laughs> it's like it's like nagging. <laughs> <laughs> like... Okay, and you guys are healed for the moment. <laughs> so so sarah uh so she's gonna say i feel like maybe if we got that arch mage dude galdar fence to grant us <laughs> true sight uh, i love that maybe... it's just justin says these <laughs> names so weird like it's just galder galder fent galder fent yeah. <laughs> um, so I feel like if if he can cast True Sight, which is like a six level spell, then we might be able to see into the ethereal plane and and see these hags for what they really are. So is there a way we could like try to get him to help us with that? But uh, I also would just like to go wherever the weirdest place is in an. Estate. I mean, a mage tower. Like if you saw like Game of Thrones, it's pretty weird. <laughs> well, you know that the Mage Tower Draven Moor is known to be a, a, a movable tower, Mage Tower. Uh, oh, like Hal's Moving Castle. Like or or like Good Castle Va Castle uh, Vania. What's the um? Oh yeah. The um, I forgot the name of the the tower in that video game. Um. Anyways. So it moves, and it's not in town, uh, and oh. it's outside the town, so you would have to find out where it currently might be. Um... <laughs> Too much adventure. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to D&D! &D. Uh, uh, I really you... want to go visit with Anara Kiltraxon. Okay. How would you like to go about doing that? Um... These are all things like... Uh, um, like we you, can go do whatever we want, but we have to be thinking can, about. Can Sarah walk down the street and say Inara? Sure. <laughs> so, um, Inara. Yeah, you guys could have probably asked when you were in the future, and you had access to, um, you know, Suha, the protector of the city. Dragon. She probably could have hooked you up, or one of the sphinxes could have hooked you up. But um, I was hoping you you. Uh, um, yeah, what do you want us to do, Jake? Because we'll do it. Uh, Just tell us go what back you want. into I mean, can... the future, please. No. Um... <laughs> I mean, we could just ask like like whoever we see, like, hey, do you know uh, who Anara is, and ask around and like sure. maybe uh, get some leads. And then... Make a investigation check. Okay. Ooh. Um, and um, let's see. Uh, plus just to six, uh, eleven. Okay, so you're asking around, and most people don't even know who she is because they're normal townsfolk. 
you're asking just around town, around Innis? Well, I could ask, like, um, I don't know. I could ask, yeah, like a guard. I could ask uh, any of Is there a map maker, a cartographer in town, or like a, a, a town gossip who knows everyone, what they're doing? <laughs> Or a whorehouse, um, or a, a cop. Uh, ooh, let's go to a whorehouse. Yeah. Can we call it a sex worker's house? <laughs> I'm sorry, a sex worker's house. Those no. are all on the Isle of Inn. Remember? Oh, and we're not there anymore. Uh, is there? Wait, what is she? Who is? Who's Inara exactly? What, what is she? she um... She's the Aspar Arcana woman with Angus. <laughs> That's where she resides. She's the Ooh. Aspar anus um. of <laughs> <laughs> Arcana. That's what I said. Oh, no, you I didn't. said with Angus. No, hard no, you can you can listen back to it. Roll the tape back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till you guys DM and have your players give you shit. No. <laughs> because because the I'm weird thing to... is like I do the same thing to my DM. Like, it's weird. It's, we're all people that genuinely hate authority, I think. I don't think you play <laughs> D&D because you're, like, happy with the status quo of the world, you know? Sure, but we all know that, like, it annoys... Like, it doesn't really... It, it mildly annoys me because I know I do it, so I have no legs to stand on. But it's, like, <laughs> um, it's just crazy how I... It mildly annoys me, and I do it, and it's just hilarious that. Uh... Just so you know, you're so much better because I would have killed all of us by now. So <laughs> that's why I don't DM because, like, I got real rage. <laughs> uh, um, well, can we ask an ask uh, ask for our Kana person? And uh, do you want to? Do you want to go it's back? Like guilt, right? Do you want to right. go back to um, the Aspel Arcana? Is um, what was formed after the erasure when all of the baubles and trinkets that were being imbued with magic mm -hmm. uh essentially people came together countries and governments and wanted to control it so no one government uh government would have you know hoarded it and possibly caused wars so there was kind of a preventative measure and they created the aspel arcana made up of equal parts uh of the people that we signed the treaty as well as um the cobalt soul and cobalt reserve were there and they were much stronger than they currently are and um they were broken up essentially or dis uh, lack of a better term i wrote it more more uh poetically in my notes but i'm not going to pull it up uh they were disbanded before just so you know I've told in case you. I think you've told us before. Yeah, I've told you. I know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think I remember this. I'm just trying to see, like, so if, do we see them around the city? Can I like find one? Like, do they yeah. wear matching robes? Yeah, or something? like I've like I've said, you have to deal with one of them when you're making a transaction with the the baubles or trinkets, um, mm -hmm. and so there's there's designated spots of the city where they usually um open well, weren't up. they at the docks yeah there's some at the docks and there was um there's some in the obviously the uh hold on obviously the the row and oh yeah let's go to the row and then ask them if they know anara because they would probably know her right and then and, and then find her that way yeah she's pretty high up it's like saying um the pope? Can I speak you know to the, the pope, pope please? Not probably, yeah. I mean, a little bit. Or like a weird hidden archbishop that like people aren't super familiar with. Yeah. Yeah, Pope Two, the secret pope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah also actually. Jude Law. Jude Law is also <laughs> pope. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty apt uh, example there. It's essentially like everyone knows the pope, but the second in command or the arch uh cardinals or whatever they're called um nobody really knows their names unless they're uh over their part of the world um so you go to the row and there's the asphalt arcana where where you guys the 
the location there where you guys had your certain things identified. Um, but there's also um, a little ways away from that, kind of like a mobile, sh lack of a better term, cart where they sell the and do transactions for the bobble just to kind of make sure the the location uh, doesn't get too crowded and busy. Um, and you wait in line there, and um, you talk to somebody. Uh, her his name is Pedro Panon. And, um, yeah, he, uh, he says he isn't, you know, friends with Inara, but she is usually, um, at the, in the Keghorn Cross or in Fortune's Favor section of the city. And she has weekly kind of come complain to me hours about about uh, how people can go to her and complain about their transactions with the Aspel Arcana um, if they feel felt ripped off or something uh, it's essentially an open open door uh, thing she holds every week and um coincidentally that's today oh yeah. my gosh i love narrative storytelling um <laughs> because i don't want to um fucking say it's next week thanks yeah all right so we go to her office hours and mm -hmm. we wait in the hallway for her to let it call us in and there's Aradia a lot of loudly Aradia loudly goes, more like the asshole arcana, am I right? <laughs> and and this kills. People are like, fuck yeah, man. And because it's full of people who are just mad, just, just fuming. And, and they're also like getting themselves f like worked up to to uh, express themselves to her. And so that just kills in in this uh, waiting area of this building. And um, as you're waiting, you see a halfling exit through the double doors who has got two crumpled paper papers in her hands and is just cursing under her breath in halfling. And she walks out and um, a... Uh, is, is halfling a language? Like, I think so. Is um, it like, does it sound like really like high pitch? Like, oh shit, I hate this silly, stupid thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is that, yeah. is that how I don't know. you would like it to sound? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That'd be funny. I'm just curious. I think it's basically Pig Latin. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, cool. While everyone was busy laughing at Aradia's joke, she used that <laughs> opportunity to, like... Um, Nihilus was the only of... one not laughing, by the way. <laughs> well, then... Nihilus can stay exactly where he is, but everyone else she takes with her. As everyone else is laughing, she's like, oh, ha, 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 and patting people on the back and like giving them finger guns and moving all the way up to the front of the line. And, and they're letting you. They're like, this, she gets it. This, this, uh, drow gets it. I'm terrified, but I'm on board. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And, <laughs> okay. Sir tries to tag on to the joke, like, yeah, they're stupid. Ass assholes. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Let my joke breathe. It was a, such a good one. I worked for hours on it. A whole <laughs> lifetime, really. While you guys are doing that and you're getting uh, closer to the time when you're called in to uh, talk to her, Hottie looks uh, turns to Prati and goes fuck Prati I just realized that painting of her on the on the uh on the wall there it said it, she was in my class at school and uh I was a dick to her and I can't go in there man I can't I can't uh I can't uh, I can't do it I just totally forgot it she, oh that's okay she probably she probably doesn't remember that she probably just yeah. remembers that you went to school together and probably you think probably you think problem. you think I don't know yeah. Oh God! Hey, did man. you date this? Do you want? Did you date her? Do you want some gin? Oh yes, <laughs> yes, please. 
Holy Ransom, Max's Infinity uh, <laughs> flask. <laughs> sure. And he, he takes a big swig and uh, he's like, yeah, I'm sure she won't rem- she will remember. I just, I just, uh, I kind of made fun of her and she was kind of hung Who out with a bunch of nerds. Who does that? I was a kid. I was stupid. <laughs> I lost my accent, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's happening here? Jake is really having a moment. Um, you know, I just don't... It's <laughs> I was a kid. Okay, okay, okay. It just, I was stupid. And uh, evil and, and, and just mean. So, and uh, you guys get called in and Hottie is like walking behind uh, Proddy, which is... <laughs> no cover at all. Kind of like not looking, trying not to make eye contact. <laughs> and, and she's in there, and she's uh, just behind a, a not a a uh, fancy desk. It's just a normal desk that's uh, she's on the side of, and she turns and stands up to greet you guys. She says, "Hi, hello. My name is Inara." I will be hearing your complaint today. I appreciate I'm, you coming here to, uh, you know, air your grievance. I, I do hope that we can help you and solve any problems. What are okay, your names? Okay, I have a real. Um, my name is light bulbs are us um, the, i have a quick question for you i keep asking what your names are just to keep expanding this joke that you guys created at the beginning of this episode okay um quick question for you um so my biggest complaint is that you exist at all but i'm sure we can't take care of that today so um i have a complaint about not being told how to defeat a hag so i was wondering if you could help me with that um is do you want to expound upon that or why uh, sarah, sarah pulls her aside and says honey you in danger <laughs> <laughs> i feel like do i know you at all do um uh the because your your question has nothing to do with. Usually, I only hear <laughs> about horrible interactions with uh, people making bobble transactions. But um, oh yes, so I was talking to a lower level. You person. told me your name was Lightbulb, so you can just <laughs> be honest with me uh, about why you don't like us or me or. Okay, so I we're from the future, and there's <laughs> night hags who are killing our children, and so we need your help. And I we don't like you right now because you're not helping us, and we're trying to save the world. That's okay. Our you kill them like you kill anything. Okay, how? <laughs> With a, <laughs> I would if you're if you're a magic user, I would use magic, or. Oh. If you're not, I would use a magic weapon or something. Uh... Okay, Are quick they... question for you. Do you think we're idiots? <laughs> you just, just be told honest me, with me. You just told me your name was Light Bulbs. <laughs> and and us, said you're from. Light Bulbs or <laughs> us. If you're going to say it, say the full name. And you keep interrupting me when i try to talk after trying to answer your questions you told me your name was light bulbs r us you told me that you're from the future and that night hags are eating children uh yeah so do i think what what was your question again madam listen light bulbs it's two truths and a lie just so you know so you have to decide which one of those (laughs) i don't have time for this i'm trying to help people there's a huge line outside so we're we appreciate your time and we're trying to help people too so so if you could just clarify so we were told that night hags can't be killed if you kill them they just go back to the ethereal plane and sure they're no longer on the on the material plane that is correct. Uh, so do we have to kill them on the ethereal plane? I mean, I... 
I think their their oh. their original form would just go back to the lower planes, and then oh. they would have to. It's not like they could immediately come back to the material plane after they, uh, you know, die on the material plane. It would take them some time to get back here, similar to how rakshasas work. Okay. Rock. So maybe that'd be enough. Does. Rakshasas. Rakshasa. Rakshasana. If you want Rakshasana. to see, if you want more information, roll a, a history yeah. intelligence check. Great. Oh. <laughs> Four. Uh, twenty-one. Eight. Twelve. It is a. R A K S H A S A. It is a fiend who is. They too, when you kill them on the material plane, uh, go back to the lower planes. But it is their their natural form is a tiger person, except their hands are reversed, meaning, um, like just rotate your hands 180 degrees. So like if this? you were a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> for those for those um for those listening on the podcast <laughs> Catherine <laughs> I was just telling so rotate them at the wrist not like Catherine turned her arms up like a chicken um anyways rakshasas are should we really be drinking after this I feel like I'm already like saying <laughs> yeah, essentially they they um are just super evil and uh live to if you if you cross them they will spend their eternal life making your life a living hell until you're dead. Um <laughs> that's the main thing. Anyways, she says yeah, they're like rakshasas and but uh so yeah, you just kill them. They they can be killed. They don't obviously like to be killed because it sets them back in their plans and they don't have access to all of the material goods that they collected and power that they collected on the material plane. So they may flee. Also, hags are known to make a lot of deals with people if you approach them. So although keep in mind they, uh, you know, aren't going to be coming out on the raw end of a deal you make with them. Um, so, um, is there a way to get them to show their true self or, like, get evidence that they're actually a hag? Like, like, do we need true sight? Or is there yeah, any, any could, way to do that? Uh, you could... Well, if it, you said it was a night hag, correct? Mm-hmm. If yeah. it is a night hag... Um, they can polymorph themselves, so that would that means they're turning into whatever they polymorph into it, it, in reality. So True Sight wouldn't help you there. If you did detect magic, you may be able to um, detect something along those lines. Uh, if can you... I ca can I cast a like spell negating you, spell if you can counterspell them if they're as when they're casting something you can dispel magic um yeah because i've got uh something kind of i've got counterspell um but i i think it has to be cast like right as someone's trying to cast it on me here's the thing about uh hags is if they're not going to usually aren't going to be caught very far from their their uh their home and if they're in a coven the reason they're in a coven in the first place is for the safety so they won't be far away from their sisters or brothers uh i would just say if you have the thing about them making deals if you have something that over them that they want badly enough you can make a deal with them that will could greatly benefit you if they want if you're if you're lucky to have that something. Um, what do what do hags normally want? Sarah goes. 
fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fingers. Uh... Giving my inspiration <laughs> died to Sarah today, just so we know. Okay. There's, she's now had two zingers for me. Okay. Um, she goes, yeah, I mean, uh, they may want fingers. It depends on the hag. Usually, though, it's just to um, either create more hags and create more covens, or it's to uh, screw over someone who broke a deal, or it's to fulfill a deal they had made with someone, or, uh, you know, there's numerous motivations for a hag but it, all of it okay, usually so involves specific they're not like they don't have like a common goal that they're all working towards no they're hyper intelligent fey creatures unless it's a night hag that all have you know different motivations and um it's yeah. so annoying when creatures are individuals you know yeah <laughs> Love generalizations. Such a shame. Can't do that here. <laughs> okay. Is there something you. else you wanted specifically to ask? Um, where would be... Uh, do you, by chance, are you selling any good magical uh, staffs I should be aware of? Just because I don't have any magical items, really, and I feel like probably gonna need one you have so um, just... you have magical hand wraps i do have magical hand wraps Thank and you you're so much. and <laughs> at level six and at level six i believe your unarmed strikes even if you didn't have those hand wraps become magical like your fists literally become magic weapons well, that really worked out for me, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and can you can you read the player's handbook to us real quick? <laughs> yeah. Um. That was a joke, Jake. You don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh no, I was I was touching uh, yeah. my nose because Justin <laughs> hit it on the nose. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so what else? Is there anything else? I mean, she, uh, did you, I don't think you mentioned that you think the hags are in the Gid Ward and all that. Yeah, let's go ahead and tell her, right? Because I feel like maybe she could. I thought we us. did mention that she was in the, or she was taking over the orphanage. No? no. Okay. I think I, I frantically said we're from the future, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that's I all, like, that's um, all you said. Okay. They're like, in the Gid Ward! <laughs> I had a hard time justifying in my head why she wouldn't just throw you out after that intro. Like, you guys come in here. Like, there's no... Of course these NPCs react to you because you lead with this shit. Uh, but it's so much fun. It's just fun to watch you, like figure out why they stay. That's, like, my favorite part is just watching you be like, like I want you the fuck do they... Because it would be shitty if I was like, well, realistically, uh, they would say, fuck off, you moron, uh, if I were to play it just by, by the book, but I have to figure remember, it out. Remember, Listen, we have to acknowledge that at some point you will probably have to do us do that to us just so we learn our lesson, you know? <laughs> and that'll be I on feel us. like we're like Jamie Lee Curtis in the new Halloween where she's just like in the street <laughs> with a gun. Like, get away, children! There's danger. I, I, mean, like, I think we're Shooting trying to save the world, and we're like in a panic. So I feel like we're, it's not that we're. I feel like we're just like you know. There's no time to like like drink tea and talk about introduce ourselves. Like sure. One thing I, I would like to point out, which uh, just as a favor to you guys, um, only one of but you it's was your being... birthday. We should be giving you. A present you shouldn't be giving us a present. oh don't worry about it um uh you were only being only one of you was being haunted per night so if all three of them were night hags it's logical to to uh think that uh three of you might be getting haunted if all three of them were night hags that's good to know or and it's yeah. just you... one hag and there's no cover oh. Well, okay, and... so we know that Anna Lynn specifically said that Auntie Nani was the night hag. So we know she is. How, but and, why do you um, trust your sister? 
<laughs> She's a dumb bitch. <laughs> That's, That's the opposite. The Question bag. again. Why do you trust her? <laughs> <laughs> Um, your sister's the Aradia de- you think no. Oh. no, I she, don't know. She's a average looking, <laughs> decent Triton. But like this was, um, we saw her like twelve years later, where she like could have like learned magic and become a terrible person. Also, like you the other thing she too is, is like she was Deuce. looking pretty haggard. She was looking very haggard, yeah. hag like. No. Oh, or it could have been no. someone who was <laughs> Jake's Jake. eyebrows are giving us hints. I'm telling you right now. No. I could be misleading you. My eyebrows do their own thing. I don't control them. I don't know. Um, can I... Uh, Aradia wants to ask uh, Anara a quick question. Okay. Um. Uh, so I was curious to know, so night hags don't just form covens with other night hags. They can form covens with any other type of hag is that right uh they can yes that's correct and and usually they they don't they don't have to form them with hags they can form them with other magical beings if need be but usually Uh they they form covens with hags because they're all in a network of hags and uh i'm generalizing here but you know if if grandmother hag uh knows knows auntie hag knows mother hag knows sister hag there's like kind of word of mouth thing going on um uh so yeah it doesn't even have to be three hags in a coven i've i've read accounts of of uh covens being made up of a necromancer and a hag and um, a, a, a lich. Ooh, liches! I just and, like saying the name. And maybe like a powerless triton. <laughs> well, they usually wouldn't. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but <laughs> they usually would only pick someone who can add something to their partnership. So, someone mm-hmm. not powerful would not be one of them. Mm-hmm. 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 Does it? Does anybody else have any other questions? I don't. I have no idea what to do with this woman other than um, just beat her up with magic. I just have <laughs> one last question for you, Nara. Do you recognize this guy? And she points to the <laughs> <laughs> And she goes, Oh, is that... Did I... Uh, sir, did I... <laughs> Did I happen to go to school with you? And Hottie is like in the corner of the room, just kind of looking at the corner casually. He's like leaned up against <laughs> the wall in the corner and just kind of like touching, it. touching the corner of the wall, looking like he's interested in it. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, uh, no. Nope. Cal- Calpia, Calpia. How do I say it? Uh, Calpia. God yeah. damn it. Uh, it, it, light bulb or whatever the hell you said your name was. <laughs> My last name is spelled C O W P I I I E. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. This is Nihilus. I gave you the benefit of the doubt and spelled it in my head as C A U. How dare now... you? How dare your name actually have the word cow in it? I thought you were a boy. But why are you telling me to that my name should be spelled a certain way? <laughs> You to be a parody of yourself, Hottie. <laughs> Your name is Hottie Cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked him if he produces milk. I'm, I'm going to roll to Hottie, see if... I'm so sorry. I'm going to roll to see if Hottie has ever heard someone... He's obviously had people bring it up to him, but let's see if he... <laughs> So if it's ten or below, we'll say he has never gotten the fact that his name is Cow Pie. Um, <laughs> and if it's 
if it's 11 and up, we'll say he has heard it and he's whatever. Four. He goes, I don't. Oh, wow. I don't. Uh, why, I don't understand your meaning, Nihilus. Is this. Uh, it's just my name. It's a family name. You're a hot cow pie, is what you are. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Is that... What is that? Why are you insulting me? I am just pointing out what your name is. My name is Haughty Cowpier. I'm starting to doubt that. I am really starting to doubt that. I think somewhere along the line, that pronunciation was changed. We broke Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine's broke. <laughs> Uh, so... I mute myself. Could you guys hear that? I just really had a uh, long, loud laugh about that. Hadi is somewhat on board <laughs> with having this conversation because it keeps him from responding to Inara. Uh, so that conversation keeps going on, and he keeps getting angry and offended that you're call it, saying his name is Cowpie. Um, so uh, it's hot Cowpie now. And Hottie goes, oh, oh, well, we must be going now. Hags to kill and such. <laughs> Thanks, Anara. Thank you. Thanks, Anara. See ya. And uh, Anara goes, um, bye, Hottie. And can never let... Uh... <laughs> and uh, Aradia can never let a joke die. So as she leaves, she goes... Um, more like asshole, I can, am I right? And, then... <laughs> <laughs> and people go, woo, outside. <laughs> Cheer. <laughs> and you guys This are... is literally the best day of Aradia's life, I think. I think that <laughs> people laughed at her joke twice. This is it. Aradia <laughs> quits beat. adventuring to just hang around. <laughs> To become the... a stand-up around it. Not even that. You're just going to be hanging around the complaint office of <laughs> Aspel Arcana. And just... I got a tight hour and a half on yeah. all my gripes. You're not going to make any money doing it, but... Gonna... <laughs> I think that's where, where, where we are going to leave it for now. And um, we'll come back next week and see if the night hag or whatever it may be haunts them likely a night hag but we'll see if it's more we'll see if they can figure out how to deal with this problem or if they're just gonna leave annalyn nymerith nihilus's sister to be mangled and such which i think is it's a definite <laughs> 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 All right, thanks guys for watching and see you next week. Bye.